Hey guys, what is going on? So these are some of the cards and rigs that I'm playing with today. Just trying to streamline some of my builds, cleaning some cards out, fixing up some, some of these cases. And I thought I'd just talk a little bit about how interesting some of these cards are. There's a lot of, a lot of cool designs out there on cards. These are all Zotac 3060 gaming cards. These are all the same cards. Those are pretty good. Little These little Zotacs are nice. I had a couple 10 series Zotacs. I thought they were terrible. But these 30 series ones seems okay. seem okay. This one right here is a bunch of random 3060s and a single 3060 Ti. So I'm going to be pulling two of the 3060s out. Putting in 3060 Ti's. Just to increase some power draw on this thing. Or check this out. This is a case. These big ASIC fans here. And see all this gunk in here? Tell me in the comments below if you uh, if you know what this stuff is. It's not dust. Okay, there's not dust. That's not dust on those blades. So tell me if you know what that is. I'll tell you at the end of the video. We'll come back to that. You see that one's clean. I replaced that fan that died. Those ones... Super gunky. So back to the graphics cards here. There's just some interesting, some interesting cards here. These are all, these are 3060 Ti's. These are all 3060's. Look at the, how big the MSI fans are compared to the EVGA ones. The 3060 and the 3060 Ti, they're the exact same form, same everything. Here's a EVGA. What do we got here? 3070Ti and a 3080Ti. Same thing here, exact same form factor. This one uh, feels like it's quite a bit heavier. Here's some reference designs. These ones, some Founders Edition. These cards are just beautiful if you ask me. I'd love to have one of these just like mounted in a frame. They're so nice. They're just, they did a really good job physically designing like the aspects of these i guess the um aesthetics sorry so very different sizes though like look at this 3070 ti 3080 ti 3090 so they're like each one is significantly bigger than the one prior and the 3090 is just a beast i don't have a regular 3090 here to compare to it and see if this is bigger but this thing weighs an absolute ton. There is so much metal in that thing. If you look at the thickness here, look at how thick that thing is. Those two are pretty close to the same. But that 3090, man, look at that thing. That thing is huge. I saw some pictures of the of the 4090s. It looks like a pretty ugly card, but it is massive. It is even bigger than this. I've never seen a 3090 Ti, but I hear that thing's huge. But this thing, that thing is big. And then you go up here. These are, these are my 1060s and a 1080. These are just gonna sit out, especially now with prices where they're at. A couple of 2070 supers, you know, whatever cards there. This one is a, what do we got here? 3080, so these are a bunch of 3080s. Here's a cool card right here. I'll show you this one. So this is uh, one of these Aorus 3060 Ti's, and this one is super efficient. But if you look here at the board, it's very small. It only covers about two thirds of the card, and then the rest is this massive heat sink you can see right through there at the fan. I'll just spin on the other side there. So it's got a, just a ridiculous sized heat sink on the end there. This is a super efficient card for 3070 Ti's, sorry, 3060 Ti's. That's my best one. These are all 3070's, all different models. I've got an Asus, what is this thing? I don't even know. Asus Tough? I don't even know what model this one is. We'll uh, look at these other cards for a second here. Doesn't even say on it. Just says G-Force. This is a dual. Okay, I never mind. It says on the back there. 
Okay, so this is an Asus Duo. This is an Asus KO. It looks like it's pretty much the same design. It's just uh, got a little bit fancier colors. It's got some RGB and stuff in there, but it looks like it's looks like it's the same design as far as cooling and everything goes. This one is probably a little bit more. This is the very first 30 series card I ever bought off the shelf. And then here's an EVGA XC3 3070. And then here's the oddball of the bunch. This is a Zotac. Look at this, it's a dual fan, but look at how much bigger the card is. It's a really short, stubby card, and when you carry it, it feels super cheap. Like, it's this, it's just really cheap feeling. This thing wobbles on it. Look how wobbly that is, and it's plastic, and it just hangs out so much. Like, it's just ridiculously huge how much it sticks out over the top. And one thing that I really don't like about this card, if you look here, Here's the board. So here's like the regular board side that all the other cards are and then it sticks out way more. But look where those pins are. The pins to get in there are way the heck in there. And so you gotta like dig in there with your fingers to try to get them to stick. I don't, this camera probably doesn't show it here. But the edge here and this cable come up. So this, it's like up and you're kind of like fighting to get past there to get into those pins. It's a really bad design. Like, those are absolutely buried in there. It's ridiculous. I do not like this card. I guess if you have it just stuck in a machine and you never have to move it around, it's okay. But if you're moving this around in rigs and stuff like that, it's just an absolute nightmare. It is crazy. This, this thing's silly. Although, by doing that, they got a lot more cooling on there. So, I suppose maybe it will cool better than other cards. Not sure. So what am I doing with all of these? Well, these ones, plus one more card, are gonna be a rig. That is going to be my space heater miner. Keep the house warm. I think we got a low just about zero tonight, so I gotta get that built right away. These big 30, uh, 3080s, plus this 3080 Ti's, and the 3090, those are all going into a a big powerful rig with a 2400 watt server supply and that is going to be mining probably caspa right now because those things are ridiculously efficient on caspa it's like whatever the metric is i can't remember but it gets like 4.4 4. 4. these 3090s and 3080 ti's right here these things are getting like 4.4 4 per watt whatever it ends up being so these ones are like 4.4 4. 3070s is like a three so these things are just like 30 percent more efficient these big cards so what i'm doing is i'm sticking all these big powerful cards into the same rig and then those are probably going to run caspa because it's just like super efficient i cannot believe it so you know with prices the way they are coin payouts the way they are i'm really going to be focusing on building each rig to be kind of coin specific each card anyways is going to be coin specific like still these 3060s 3060 ti's 3070 3070 is pretty good on almost anything it doesn't matter what you mine on that but these little little tiny cards here these are going to be on probably the kapow algorithm so raven or something like that if that ever kind of comes back those things work pretty good on that my amd cards are pretty good on those these mid-tier ones, like 3070 Ti's, and even just like the 3080, those ones are pretty good on Ergo. And then these big boys here, the 3080 Ti's and the 3090. I don't know how long Caspa is going to be kind of profitable where it's at, but these things are wildly efficient on that. And then you might know my 20 series, those are pretty good on Flux. So I've only got a couple of those, just these two. So I might kind of keep them there. What I'm working on is kind of balancing these server supply cases so that they're all about uh, 1100 watts in each of them. So I'm going to just be taking all these cards apart. They've all been cleaned and now they're all just going to be kind of balanced in these rigs here to, to make the most efficient way possible. I'll probably be able to get rid of an open air case by doing it this way and then just kind of making these into some more permanent builds with kind of really utilizing the maximum power potential without going over what a socket would be. 
So I want to be able to run these things on 120 or 240 volts. So like this bigger case here, this is going to be running on 240. I probably will not ever stick that on 120. But then like these little ones here, this is a little bit smaller case. It only has one pin per card. So I'm going to set this up to be able to run on 120 or 240, depending on where I end up sticking them. And the same thing goes for these two over here. Those guys there. Those will run on either, kind of depending on where I, on where I can put them. That's what I've got going on. I still haven't built these out, like the little CPU rig like I wanted to there. Just, I've just been just crazy busy. So hopefully that'll get done in the next couple days. But the priority right now is to get that little space heater up and running. And then to get those big boys out on the 2400 watt power supply running the... Um, geez, I forgot what that one's cast by. Those will be running cast because they're really efficient. And profitable at the moment with my electricity rates. So that might change any, any minute. Crypto has absolutely tanks today. Everything's down. Man, Raven's down. Um, what's the other one that's that uses the Kapow algorithm? I can't even remember the name of it now. It's got that video game integration. Neox, so that's the one. Neox is down like 50% today. I cannot believe it. Man, these things are just, just getting pummeled. Everything is getting absolutely pummeled. So that's what I have for now. Always tinkering. It's always fun. And I have to find some other sources of income here. Things are getting tight. But I will always be tinkering no matter what. It's, it's a fun hobby. I like doing it and I cannot wait until things kind of come back. But that's kind of all I got for now. Hope you find some of this interesting. And take it easy guys. We will see you later.